Today's Chof He Adar Tashin Ayin. This is uh, Sheer Klali from Parshas Vayakel Pekudi. Alright, so we're turning to uh, chapter 37. Perik Lamad Zayin in Parshas Vayakel. <coughs> And we see uh, that the, um, the Torah told us uh, earlier in the parsha how all the Eden answered Moshe Rabbeinu's call to give uh, the truma to the Asiyas of Mishkan. No, no, don't sit over there, my son. And the details of how the Yidden uh, brought the Utruma uh, of the and the Chesef and all the other in Yonim, and then how they began the Tzalel Vakol after having told us that the Avista, well, Moshe Rabbeinu said that he was told to. Uh, Appoint Batsalo. Uh, the Abish told him to appoint Batsalo uh, on the whole uh, work of the, the Mishkan. But then we begin to describe in detail the Yasu Ko Chakmelei Ba Isha Malachoa Esa Mishkan. And then we see that the um, Seder of the, uh, of the Aveda is that they make first. The wall, the curtains and the how they cut the hangings for the for the Mishkan, and then the, uh, the all the coverings for the roof and the crossium. So we see that they began by making first of all the what you might call the oil per se, and then later in the chapter which we're about to begin now, they start coming to the Kali. And if you notice in Pasha Truma when Moshe Rabbeinu gave over what he'd heard. On Mount Sinai, then he starts off with the Orin, with the Kalim, and then at the end of the Pasha tells us about the uh, actual Oi Hill. Maybe you guys can move over a little bit. Uh, hopefully nobody will come through the door. And uh, therefore you can uh, move the table a bit. Very good, Misha. If anybody uh, wants to barge in, then he won't be able to. And the Seder over there was the office, was uh, Seder Hafuk. So the Gemara in Masechta Brochas, near the end of the Masechta, brings a story. I think Rashi brings it uh, here. Uh, in Pasha Pekudai, Rashi brings the story that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu and Batalel had, a, had a, 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 a difference of opinion, or what you might call a, a slight pikuach as to how she be the Seder of the of the Aveda Samishka. And Moshe Rabbeinu said, uh, first of all, the Kalim and, uh, and then afterwards the Mishka. And uh, the child said, but uh, if I make the Kalim first, where am I going to put them? If I don't have uh, oil yet, what am I going to do? Put the Kalim aside until here yeah, we built the, where are they going to be for the time it will take us to build the oil hill? And he said a very simple principle of first of all you make your house and you put your, your kalim in, uh, inside. So Moshe Rabbeinu said to him, uh, Moshe Rabbeinu said, you're right. And the pillar of the Gemara is, well, we're not going into that whole description now. The pillar of the Gemara is that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu said, you're right. In a way, uh, you're, you're correct. Because that's in effect what really I heard from the, uh, the Abish. Moshe Rabbeinu, nonetheless, when he came to tell the Yidden, he was very for Chazar as a Seder. And that's a pillar. How come Moshe Rabbeinu would be Mahapat the Seder from what he'd uh, heard from the angel? But that's a, a question which may well become answered a little bit as we go along, but 
I was putting it to, it's another concern. <coughs> Here we see that that's in effect what Batal actually did. And Moshe Rabbeinu admitted to him that that's what he really heard from Hashem. And he said, that's why you're called Batal, uh, because you are Batal, how do you call it, Kale. You are in the shade that we have there. Of the Avishta that you know, Baruch HaKoidish, and you heard from heaven, just like I did, what was really the real Seder HaOsir, and Seder HaVeda. So that's the name, Betal, Betal Kael, Betal El, uh, that he's hidden literally in the shade of Elikus, and he's able to know exactly what is going on. Therefore, over there, the Gemara brings immediately, having bought that, uh, this, Oh, so the question is, where did the Avish in effect say that? I mean, there must be some hint or mocker or something. So in last week's parish, the parish of Kisiso, which is a long and complex parish of many, many things happened in that parish, uh, some of them not so desirable, some of them very desirable, one of them very not so desirable, uh, well, that was the Chaita Egel Vakulu. Uh, just before the Chaita Egel, it's written once again in brief, the whole uh, Tivui of the at a Mishkan, and then it said the Enoch and Shabbos. So it's written over there that Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu, Lech, Oimel, Betzalel, go tell Betzalel that this and this is the, is the Seder. And over there it's written, first of all, make the oil made, the Eskol Kelav. First of all, make the oil made, and then all the Akelim, so Teisles, and Rashi himself is Medaktik as well. Uh, that they say that from that country is that really the Avishta did say to Moshe Rabbeinu when you go to tell Betal you should make a duck in that order even though he didn't say that openly to anybody Moshe Rabbeinu and I mean, he had to admit that Betal was right <clears throat> so what we see here is that when the Torah starts describing how they made the whole uh, Mishkan uh, they did it according to that Seder that Betzal uh, wanted, and he was right. Uh, it's just written right from the beginning, and then it starts telling us all the details of the curtains and hangings and, and the, the, uh, the covering curtains at the top of the, uh, on, the, on the roof. And then it's written from there on all the way through, it's written in the singular. It's written at the beginning of all the Chak Melev did it. But then it's written, Vayichaber, Vayas, Vayas, Hamisha Akar says, Oh, Vayas, Vayichaber, in the single that he joined together or he made, just in the, in the singular. So it was the implication that everybody did it, like it would appear in the Posse. Why is it written the whole time in the, in the singular all the way through? that uh, kill one person did it. And therefore, most of the great Mephoshim learned that Betalil, in effect, yeah, he was really the leading figure. He was the great uh, Baal HaUmanes, uh, the uh, great tradesman, that he knew how to do all these amazing malachas. And then Olio, yeah, Meshavit uh, Don, is, uh, not Olio, uh, 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 the other one, uh, the, 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 the help him, I always forget names. That uh, Ben Elias, he uh, he was helping uh, Tal. He was also a great tradesman. And then there were these other people that they worked called the Chachmelev. Oh, but they don't come to Tal in their in their greatness. That he was a, uh, as it's written earlier, or Hashem Moloi. He says Chachmas Elokim that the Eivos or Ruach Elokim that the Eivos filled him up with a divine spirit that he knew how to make all the. Uh, the Kalium and everything. So he was a, an amazingly benched person, Betzal, that he had all this divine inspiration. And that's what Moshe meant, Betzal Kel, I thought, you're literally in the shade of Hashem, because I see you're able to know things that I never mentioned to anybody, but you're right, there was a, a, a direction from the apes, so that's the way to say it, or the way it should be. So we see it, and uh, before, in Pasha Truman, in um, uh, the Ramban, the Ramban tells the greatness of Betalil. Akili, he was right from the very uh, first day of Boratius as a Medrash, that Hashem foresaw 
But Charlo, when he had him all ready and he prepared him from the beginning of the creation that he would know all these. And you know, it was an amazing uh, series of things that the uh, Ramban brings when I get to Pichalo. So therefore we see that uh, the whole time it's mentioned in the uh, singular, Pichalo was devoting himself to the to the uh, the Aveda. So it comes along now, Pasik uh, Aleph in chapter 37, and after not having mentioned Batal's name in the actual building of the Mishkan so far, just having said he did it, then it says, Vayas Batal El Es Horin. The Batal made the, the Orin, how do you call it, the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Orin, uh, the container for the, um, for the Ruchas. Uh? The Orin. Vayas Batal all the measurements and then he covered it with the hope to her and all the things that were commanded to the to the Ore. So the question asked ask itself here is uh, it's not mentioned any name earlier in the actual making, it's just written by Yas. Somebody did it. By Yechaber, by Yas, somebody did it. And we're assuming that's Betalel, or at least he's like running the whole show. I don't know if he did everything, but I mean, these helpers are helping him. But all of a sudden we hear, we see by Yas, Betalel is a Ha'orin. And in the middle of when we begin the actual Kalim, we finish all the oil and we come to the Kalim, that's when the Betalel made the Ha'orin. And then after that, He's not mentioned anymore. It's just written by Yas. We go back. He did this. He did that. He did something else. It's ourselves to show the why when we get to the Orin, which is the first of Kalim, we also mention Betalil's name. But he did it. By Yas, Betalil, Esa, Esa. There comes along the Ramban, not here, but in an earlier Pasek in the Pasha, where he sums up a lot of Inyon in the Ramban. And he says... That up to now, where it's written by Yas in all the different Malachas, that Betalu had he called guided and he, you know, he showed because he'd heard all the instructions from the Agustin and he taught them how to do it and he even maybe took part, but he was like a sort of a, 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 a divine foreman over the, on the floor, as you might say. When it came to the Orin, then due to the great Kedusha of the Or and the, sensual, the, the, the uh, central part of the Or in the whole Mishkan according to the Ramban the whole Mishkan was made for the sake of the Or the truth is according to the, the Or uh, to the Ramban and therefore there is a tremendous Kedusha which needed the unbelievable knowledge and skill of Tal. Uh, therefore, the difference is that uh, Batsal actually made himself the Puyo the Ori. And therefore, it's written by Yas Batsal is a Ori. In the previous case, he did it, but he didn't really maybe do it. He, he was like, as we said, the leader. Here, he was Matriya Chesatsmi Bumiyuchat, that he himself actually made the Ori. Due to its unbelievable Kedusha, its central role in the whole. Uh, function and point of the Mishkan needed the unbelievable power of Kavana of the knowledge of Pichal. But therefore he did it himself. So now we're going to see uh, Rashi but we're going to have to be misbeaten. Would Rashi agree with that principle on the part of the Ramban or does he differ somewhat with that? And also Rashi also picks up the fact that here it's written Pichal's name and he says, by Yas Pachalil, Lefi Shenosa Nafshoi Ala Malocho, Yoiser Mishar Chachomim, more than all the other Chachme, Leiv, Nikras Al Shmoi. Then the Malocha is called on the name of Moshe Rabbi. Huh? I'm sorry, you're right, 100%. On the name of Pachal. Just as old as Shaila. What does Rashi mean 
with that. Because he says, like in a general language, Yas Patalil, that he gave his soul. He literally devoted himself in the most remarkable way that he gave away his whole self to the the Malocha, Hamalocha. Yesa, more than all the other Chachmei Leib, had ever called on his name. So, certain people want to say that it's referring particularly to the Orain, even though he calls Mocha in a general way. Because it's tempting to assume that Rush is not referring only to the Orain, but he's referring to the general Malocha altogether. He just calls Hamalocha. And, and Matao was devoted to Hamalocha more than all the other wise men, and ever it's called on his his name. I it was right from the very beginning, Batal's name. Right from the beginning, Batal's name. But we could say according to their shot that since the Orient is such a holy and very special central point in the whole thing, even though uh, Batal was devoted uh, to all the Malacha, nonetheless that's mentioned uh, especially with his name in reference to the Oran being as it is a central factor in the whole thing. Now that's how uh, certain other Moshim and Rashi, that's how they learn it. <coughs> in other words, this is not referring Davke to the, the making of the, of the Oran, even though it's written by Yas Patalal as Oran. No, it's referring in general to all the Malacha. Um, but why is that written here that Batal did it and he, what does it mean he did it he gave away his uh, nephew. he gave his mental self-sacrifice to all the work it's mentioned in reference to the Oran because the Oran is a central thing I will love Dafki that only this he did to the Oran he did he gave himself away on everything so some people learn that uh, the, uh, the, the, the very famous what's he called I forgot his name one of the great Moshim Maskil David, that he, uh, from the Rabbi David uh, Pardo, he was one of the great Swadish uh, Gedolim. Oh, that's how he learns uh, the Pshat in Rashi, because he says it's too general. Rashi should have said that he gave himself away specially to the Orin. <coughs> so therefore, comes along other people, uh, for example, the Dazakanim, the Balayate. He was uh, one of the Roshanim, the Baleatesis, of course, the Roshanim. And that's uh, like a liquid from different opinions on the part of the Baleatesis. And he seems to support that general idea, that, uh, not that Pizzalo made the Oran specially, and in that's the whole special attention of uh, uh, Pizzalo, uh, to, to as it were, accept all the other uh, this, but it could be uh, that... Uh, Betalu devoted himself to the whole Malachi in a similar way. Why is it mentioned the Orin? Because um, he, he wants to say that there's a special Indian about Torah. The Torah is called Oya. How do you say? Kinea mitzvah v'Torah, Torah Oya. And he says that the, 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 the creation began with the infant Oya. And therefore we see, in the, if you don't mind, put that away, if you don't mind. Uh, we see by the Megiva, for example, La Yehudi Mhoisa Oiro V'simcho V'sosit V'yikor So the Megiva says, Oiro Zu Toira The Oiro is referring to Toira But in other words, uh, Toira is the Indian of light And therefore it's brought down that the Oiro was the first uh, creation By Yehima Elohim Yehi Oiro Vayihi Oiro is the beginning of all good desire so Torah is the beginning of all good to in your name because Torah is the union of an oil and therefore the Oran is mentioned first always Moshe Ben also mentioned first and why is it mentioned Betzalel's name because he was a a, a Torah man a, a lichtic man and he knew all Seders and the inner Pirushim like the Gemara says over there in, um, in the sect of Brachas and therefore um, the the uh, the, uh, the union of the Betzal, of the union of his name is mentioned on the Orin. Although not that it means that he made the Orin specially. 
it's similar to what we just saw in the Moscow Lutoid, with a slightly different uh, angle, that in Emerson could be Moshe Ben who busied himself with all the mothers in an equal way. Why is it mentioned in reference to the Orient by Yas Patalo? Because that's the Inyaf and Oya, and he is uh, connected with the Inyaf and uh, for Oya, Patalo. Uh, he's a, he's in his uh, Betzal Kel, we saw the Indian for Torah. Therefore, his name is mentioned in reference to the Oren. Once again, not that he made any special effort more on the Oren than anything, uh, than anything else. And I see we find that um, um, the Baratudim and others go in a similar sort of way. And the Baratudim says that the, uh, the Oren is the you know Al Picabola and beside the Indian the Oran is a tremendous Indian of the at the at the Merkava Elyon and Docha Docha Givaldik so he days and Bichalu knew all that of him when he made the Oran he put all this tremendous Kavona into the uh, Oran more than what he did to other in the Oran because of the great Kedusha the Oran therefore his name is mentioned in reverence to the Oran. Not that he made the Oran any more than everybody, anybody uh, else. However, it comes along uh, the Rebbe in a, in a Sikha, where all Sikhas from the Rebbe are famous, and the Rebbe says in a Sikha that uh, from the very fact that it's written by Yas Patalil, Es HaOran, and it's written in reference to the Oran, then it would appear that it means that, uh, the, uh, that this was a special effort on the part of the child that he made the, that he made the Oran, that only he, as it were, made it. However, if the Kavana was, that, that, like the Ramban says, and like uh, some of the others want to hint somewhat, that he did it on his own, but Tal did it completely on his own because of the tremendous Kedusha and because of his tremendous desire to put all of his high knowledge and his high uh, uh, speciality as being prepared from the beginning of the creation into the Orient. Then the Rebbe said, Make a cheshbain. It's very, very difficult to imagine that one man could make the whole Orient. And he takes you back into, into Pasha Truma and he says, If you make a cheshbain, how much Zohar? went in just to the kapoiras, you know, the lid on the orange, to all the kruvim, but they had to be made a uh, mixture, how do you call it? They, they had to be made in one piece. They had to hammer it out in one piece. And he said, you may have a how much the hole there was, and how much wood, and how much, that the orange was very heavy, you know that. And there was the whole shaka, how the, um, the levine were able to carry it. It was so heavy. Uh, therefore, the, 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 it's brought down. Rashi brings it over you know, there in Pasha of uh, uh, Notse. Uh, Rashi brings that the Oran used to carry its carriers rather than they carried it. In other words, the Oran used to lift people up. <coughs> because it was uh, The Rabbi makes a chesmin that it's very difficult to imagine that one man just on his own could make the Oran. It would be a tremendous amount of time. <laughs> And it would be a tremendous demand, both in strength. You know, we find that Moshe was very strong. It was a giver of uh, And with all the uh, unbelievable tradesmen and knowledge that Moshe Rabbeinu had, to say that he made the whole Orient just purely on his own, yeah, that is very difficult to, yeah, that's very difficult to imagine. And in fact, it's hard to say that Mitzal was mentioned here, Muchad ben to the Orient, Meaning that he Tucker was very concerned with the Oran Bermuhad, and we mean the Oran, not just all the Kalim. Uh, or however, to say that it means that he himself did it like the Ramban, he made the whole Oran, that's hard to say. And if I, he says that Rashi doesn't say the expression that uh, Batsal gave away his Neshama for the making of the Oran, he just says, Allah Malocha. Yeah, what Malocha just means? trade work in in general. And that's why these other people want to learn and maybe Rush doesn't mean the Oran in general, he just means the Klala, the Indian of the Malach. And ever since the, 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 the word Asiya and the word Malach have slightly different uh, implications. Cause, uh, and that's why we see earlier it's written the whole time by Yas, by Yas, by Yas. 
even though it's hard to say that Bitzal did everything on his own, for sure all the other people yeah, helped him. At the fire, we see that Asiya can mean uh, all sorts of inyonim, not just yeah, the actual physical Asiya, but for you, but it can, for you know, it can include other people helping you, uh, giving instructions for parts of the work that you didn't do. The word Asiya is a general, but the word Malos. Yeah, means a physical act, a poil, a paula. And therefore, we're going to get to Shabbat. We learned earlier in the parasha that the, the Isa of Shabbat is very, very common, and it doesn't overcome, it doesn't, <coughs> the making of the Mishkan doesn't overcome the Mitzvah of Shabbat, but all famous people are going to get it there. And therefore, yeah, on Shabbat, you have to do a ma. A malocha, it's called. The, the, the forbidden thing on Shabbos is a malocha. What is a malocha? A paula. You have to do something which involves a, you know, an action, a poyo, and that's called a malacha. And we see that, you know, for example, when I get to the what are the malachot on Shabbos, how do we know what is a malacha? What is a malacha? At a fire, we learn from the Mishkan. Uh, Michigan. So that itself is a, a huge discussion. And a huge people, why do we learn from the Mishkan? What's the Mishkan got to do with Meisel Bereshis? Shabbos is Eichel of Meisel Bereshis. Anyway, that's a whole big discussion. Suffice it to say, we learn from the, you know, all the things which are forbidden. Over every one of them is an act. You can't be held as having been Oiva, Aisa on Shabbos if you didn't do something but, but well, it depends on yeah, on what particular uh, oifen it is. Yeah, Moshe and Ben Agir to Breira, the different ways that it is mutab, the, there's a Breira which is Asura. I mean, you guys have learned Hilchish, uh, learned Hilchish Shabbos, with the Gamsin from Bishu, with what's the Inan in Bishu, what, what is the actual Molocha, all that means, because you don't actually do the Bishu, you just light the, yeah, the fire under the pot. Oh, that's an interesting one. Uh, the Bishu killer happens on its own. What is the whole inner piece on Shabbat? But anyway, you got to do something. So therefore, the point in that seat of the, from the Rebbe is that the Betzal, what Rashi wants to tell us, is that not Betzal made the whole orange only on his own. Yeah, that, that would be very, very difficult to say as a, a thing of that nature. It's almost a, an impossibility. No, but then, the, uh, the, the uh, Betzal was tremendously careful in the pu'ula and the malocha of the orin, an actual physical act. And that was different than what he usually did, Batal. Usually Batal gave instructions, and yet that's called vayas, that's called an asiya, even though he didn't actually do it in the, in the singular, as we pointed out, and the great proportion one, and that's referring to Batal. Over here it's called uh, al shmoi. Yeah, it's nikras al shmoi. Yeah, the whole making of the uh, of the orin, yeah, the, uh, the, is called al shmoi because he devoted himself to the ma- malacha. He went down into pearl mamish and he made sure that all the details of pearl mamish were a result either of his own doing or of his own instruction with tremendous attention to detail, more than in all the other. Yeshimikol Okay, I'm a mirror. that's what Rashi wants to be Madgish. That a Nosa Nafshri, and that's a Masir's Nefesh Babatzal, that he made a, 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 on the, on the Malocha more than the other Chachomim. Because the other Chachomim for sure helped him. That's why Rashi's, according to the Rebbe's thesis, it's very good why Rashi writes in, Yesha Mishari Achachomim, what's it got to do with it? Because they were helping him. Tell him I, since he was Nosa Nafshri, it's called on. His name, yeah, Ikra al al Adafer, says the Rebbe, that's a, a different Indian altogether, and that's Mu'had to the Oran. So here we see then that Vitalil, despite his unbelievable uh, greatness, and despite the fact like the, the Da'as Akedim said that he's only mentioned in reference to the Oran, because of his greatness in Torah and his greatness in Primus Atar, he knew all the Sayyidahs, and like we saw in the Shem B'Shem Amedras that he was he's even from the beginning of the creation he was set aside for that Indian 
And bear in mind that the Yidden who were in Mitzrayim, take all the Yidden who were in Mitzrayim, they were working, uh, you know, they just perished. Uh, and uh, Shevet Levi didn't. Shevet Levi were, they were Pnuim. Last week, Petela. Abu Betala is from Shevet Yehuda. He's not from Shevet Levi. So he was Mustama also in the in the ordinary of Edus Per. How do all these people know how to make all these unbelievable Akkadian? And in fact, we have to say it was a divine plan. And that's why the Mitzvah says the apes to prepare a person like Betala from way, way back at the beginning of the creation. It was like one of these things that was, you know, create a vain hashmash. Uh, you can leave the tool alone. If you came in, yeah, you got to listen. If you don't listen, then you have to... As a matter, B'tzalu was like a divine creation that was mamish mishmichat for the etzim asiyas akedim but a mishkan of a in benegat to the or and it came down mamish into pu'ula b'bel mamish malacha. Or slafise nimto that we could say that Masiris nefesh of B'tzalu was in two inyanim. Uh, first of all, he was noisen nafshoi. Was it a touch noisen nafshoi? Rashi could have said mosa nafshoi. We find that expression in our sages, mosa nafshoi. He had mesurus nefesh. Or it could have been written other in Yonim, which showed that he paid tremendously uh, detailed attention to the poil mamish in the Asiyas Ari. Was it a touch mosa nafshoi? Uh, I'm sorry. Nosan uh, Nafshi. Uh, he gave his soul. So the Rebbe, the Rebbe says that the, the difference between Mosan Nafshi and Nosan Nafshi is that Mosan Nafshi means that you take in your name Ruchnias and you give them away. Yeah, instead of having your ability to earn on that smart, instead of in Ruchnias you gave away your Ruchnias for the sake of, of something which was a tzivui on you and you weren't necessarily yeah, planning tough kid to do that or the, that was the inner Masil's nephews that you did it yeah, for the sake of the Kavona Elyon however the inner even Nosa Nafshi means he gave away his whole nephews he took all the Kweches and everything the guns and the Shoma and he gave it away completely well this is more than Masil's nephews but that's killed Masil's Koha Koha Ish yeah, Koha Etem it's more than just the normal music of Mitzvah's name. And we see where did it come out. Dafki in the Inu from Malocha. Dafki in the Puyo Mamish of the of the Or. Lafiz there said Rashi, well that's more than Sharia Chachom. Other people that they were Oisik in the Mishkon, even though the Rebbe doesn't say that clearly, but we can suggest that that's the Biyo Vidova, that they remain Chachom. Even when they were doing it, to be they were concerned with their wisdom and their knowledge and their, how would you say it, with their higher aspects. The Elu Batala, with all of his unbelievable greatness, he gave himself away completely. Nasir Nashi, absolutely for the sake of the Orin, for very nicely, for the reason that the Dasa Kenyam, the Balatez, points out that it's Bitsadi Givaldi Gemaila, the Torah, the Oyer, but that's the Pesichel, the Kolabriyam, the Gasolicha. Of all upon him, he gave himself away, but Nois and Nafshe, the Poyo, you know, even that it came down into small details of Pu'ula and Malacha, well, that's more than the other Chachomim. They remained in Oyer for. They were Chachomim, you know, they knew it in Yon, they knew Wecher in Yon, of a not at Kedai. Therefore, Nikras al Shmoi. Therefore, it's, key, it's called Ki'ilu that Batal made it. Now, that fits in very nicely also. But not that Batal did really make it. He didn't really make the horn. It's physical impossibility. But he did, yeah, in the sense that because he gave himself away with all his greatness, it's all called his Ki'ilu, the whole Oren, the whole maker, the Oren, is Batal. That's him. That's it. That. Now, a similar thing to that we find. It occurred to me that uh, it's a similar in him that we find Mamish in uh, the beginning of Tehillim. Well, you guys are going to be saying Tehillim on Shabbos, but Eizah Hashem is Bara. Aren't you? Yeah. Very good. So everybody said, Hain, Hain. And so that means that uh, they're going to do it for fail. <laughs> uh, anyway, 
uh, whatever, is um, the beginning of Tehillim says, Ashrei Oish, Shalai Holop, Atzus Roshoyim, or Baderach Atoyim, or Yomad, Kiim, Besoyrus Hashem Cheftoy, U Besoyrus Soy, Yege Yemam. That what is the whole of a Ashrei uh, Oish, of who is the happy man, who is the boy of a man, that he gives himself away, the uh, Cheftoy. But Cheftoy is Pnimis Arotzen, Kimavurin, the Siddhas. Gives away his Pnimis Arotzen, which is Taino and Rotzen, to study the Abyss's Torah. And then it's written, Uvesay Rosay, and in his Torah, whatever that may mean, Yege Yemamba, Lila. Kunt again the Gemara in the sector of Eder Torah. The Gemara says that Petchila Torah Sha, at the beginning it says, that it's Yehmus' Torah. And it says, we'll say, we'll say. Yeah? So you could assume that that means the Yehmus' Torah again. But says the Gemara, no, that means him. Yeah? But Chila Nikra Satera Al Shmoi Shala Kodesh Baruch Hu. But Saif Nikra Al Shmoi Shala Adam. That's his Torah. As I'm to. And after Minan was there, the Yehmus' Torah was there in the Gemara. If a Rav, is uh, is insulted by somebody and he's moichel, he's covered, whether his covered is really moichel or not, whether it can really help for him to be moichel if he's covered. So the reason being that the infant, yeah, if if we're going to say it's a this yeah, Torah, then he can't very really be moichel, and he's not about us to be moichel. But if we say that it's his Torah, Torah also, yeah, he means his Torah, then maybe he could, since it's his Torah, he can be he can be moil. That's one of the nafkiminas la 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 halacha. Over we see that it becomes his Torah. Well, the smami asevi. It's called al shmoi, and therefore we see that there's also been on him that you should always mention the name of a of a person who, who gave you over a, 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 a inyan in Torah, and therefore we see that. The whole Gemara is tremendously medactic to say who said what, because that's his Indian. And sometimes there's a whole people in the Gemara who said what, who really said it. Was it plainly or maybe it was really, yeah, plainly? Was that a man of Gemara? One of them said it, wasn't it? No, it, it? It's very important to know who said who said what, because that's his Torah, that, and therefore the Torah. It's got a mile that he can put into Torah because of his. Uh, how did he get to that? Only after there's been the you know, yeah, you remember, well, if you put effort and you learn Torah, Mamish, but not in Nafshay Ala Torah, you learn Torah with Masilus Atzme, you know, just stop. No, with Emerson, Masilus Never, yeah, then the Torah becomes, uh, becomes Nikras Al Shmoy, becomes your Torah. <coughs> and there's also a, a, a famous marshal over there in the Gemara with that deal, ain't kind of mocking. If somebody would have to look it up, he can do so. Of Alcopon him, it becomes your turn. <coughs> Similarly, we could say that the uh, Indian uh, Bitsalo, since he put himself into the Oran, what the Oran is basically, Torah, that's its whole Indian. And he did it in such a way that he brought it down, but Poyo Mamish. But the Poyo Mamish is not only just the Yofi Hagashmi of the Oren, but it's the, the Aulam Metatlis of Oinyonim in Torah, that they should come down into a Poyo Mamish. And the Father Betzala was Maramis with all of his effort in the infant Yofi Amalacha, but Poyo, every Prat Basia keeps shooting at me as Malacha, but Poyo should come out into. In the Pula al it should be his personal uh, in. And the father, the whole Oren is called in his, and the whole Oren is called in his, his name. And if the father, the Indian of uh, effort and Masiris Nefesh is a key Indian, but I get to all the Indian of Shotur, both the Edge of Kli, which is Michael the Tur, the Oren. And the Indian Torah itself, that Ali Day, what I mentioned, is nice and nafshay, ala Torah, then he is literally becomes miyuchet with the Torah, ad that the Torah becomes his and becomes a nafkemina, 
Who said what and what is in the care? It's important to know that he was the Baal Hamemro, Tanoim, we say more of the Baal Hashemua, of a Kaitabi. And therefore it becomes even more. So the Rebbe, the Rebbe, the Rebbe points out in that uh, the Sikha, uh, if we say that a, a person like Batsalo was noisy, called Nafshe, or in a uh, uh, Oren, then uh, it's for Sunday that if a person like him gives away uh, in the Messiah's nefesh, then all the other koichas that he has, uh, they also have a tremendous uh, a tremendous aliyah. And the fact, that's the mile of what Rashi is hinting at, the Pinimis Atorim. The Rashi is showing you that even though Batala was a himu man, yeah, Batala was a man who had tremendous knowledge of a himu. <laughs> he knew all the Sadeus, and he knew all the Oasis that the Aisha combined in the Asiasa, Shamayim Beha. Of course, this is the big Gemara of them, Set the Prophet. And that's all we know the Mishkin that the Jamuk were in Derek Mitzvah Sacha, that it's Maramas on Shomayim there. Or it's all the different, the, the Ureas at the Makifim and the Akalim and the Pimim and all the different uh, in Yonim Bedova. <coughs> and nonetheless, we see that as our Mensch, like Petalel, he was based in Nafshay, Allah Malacha. He gave away his whole soul, not just Messiah's Nefesh, he took his whole. Being holders bolus, and he gave it over to the the malacha, the the poyo mamish, and the and uh, and the uh, etim the uh, toifoa gashmias of the of the oren. So the rabbi through that as built his shum sovik, yeah, that there was a an aliyah in betal. The through that he was mamela uile, and that's what Ra- Rashi is maramis. Nikras al Shmoy, that the, the whole Indian of he and Torah become Amish yeah, Miyuchat, uh, or that's a Indian of an Aliyah Gedoyle in the man himself. So a man shouldn't be uh, of the opinion that I'm a big spiritual man, and I'm a, a, a you know, very important uh, person, yeah, what do they say in English, a B.I. P. with all the, uh, uh, with all the miles and with all the Yonim, and uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a Choshiba. Um, and, and you know, Jemis of Mashiach is coming, and we have to bring okay. the Gihula even swifter oh, okay. and other good to Oh, well, you know, I've got my Cheshwainas and I have my Nyonim. Yeah, you know, can't expect me, uh, you know, every Friday to go running out on the street or doing all sorts of Nyonim uh, during Nissan to, you know, to be Mistadu, uh, to help other Eden to know all about Pesach and bring the matters and tell the sort of Zachan. I'm a very important person. I want to shake back. It's difficult for me. I got to be dovuk in chokma and in yonim shul chokma, and I got to be beyege yemon ba laila. I got to talk and be like the dog of the man says. I got to learn tera yemon ba laila. And if I betalu, we see the betalu. Yeah, he Dabke went down with all his unbelievable knowledge. That even Moshe Rabbeinu was moedet to betal. I feel Moshe Rabbeinu. So listen, I have to say that the tzedek is with you. You got the right point. And he says, Rashi, oh, look, where the, where's the remnants in the Torah that this went on? Because Betao was right. And if I come to this, Betao shows you the Betao Kale, the Betao Kale. You can be mamish in the shade of the Abister of Afu Piken. You've got to go down into the uh, Malacha Bapuyo and see that it should be a Rika, yeah, Malacha. And then you have an unbelievable Aliyah that it's all called out. How shmoy that even your Torah will have an aliyah nifla belishum as of a cloud or cloud that the mesh will be misale in his inyanim l'sha'atzma. Abamay l'fise. But as we learn a tremendous cloud from this whole Indian, when we get to the Torah of the Rebbe l'doyreino to our generation, that there has to be. Both in your name. You've got to take it be, but they are also yege, yem, You have to take it learn. You have to learn bas moda, and you have to be devoted to Torah. And it has to be ike ha'oyer. You have to know the Seyed Amerikova. You have to learn a lot of Siddhas. 
If you have some beer, you have from Rukhuti Terra on the side of Merkava, the Matu, Manoim, all in on him, it's all Emma. You have to be Isaac in a way to Satfila, you have to think about what you learned in the infant side of Merkava, but all the dark, Emma. Over when the when the when the street said that we don't know anything about the Oran, we're wasting it. Exactly what's happening over there. Then you've got to go with all the Oran and you've got to take it out into the, into the street and you've got to see that there be a sea of Bukhoyo not only by you but under the, under the Yidin. And you've got to see that that happened Bukhoyo. It's got to be a Malocha Yofa, Bunagela Puyo, Bunagela Puyo, Mamisha Dafa. There's a penalty Kazakh. You, you wouldn't believe it. A state in the Mishnah and the sect of Tainas that's written on certain times. We didn't uh, have Geshem. Uh, there hadn't been Geshem. We had picked us over yet. And this went to ka, ka And it was already laid. It was already till, It was already into the early part of the, uh, 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 the time where we stayed. That you can't have Geshem. Nonetheless, he used to go out on the street. With, and they used to take, how uh, uh, do uh, you call it, the safer term, me Orin. They used to take all the Orin. was only after the base of Mictus. I will call him. And they used to take the Sefer Torah out into the street, just by mistake, walk into the street with, with Sefer Torah and Mulya Dinyana. And even more than that, we find that when Yidin went out to war in Muhammad, which put there was a special Kuyin, that he was like a Zgan to the Kuyin Godel, but he used to take the Oran and the Lucas, but the Al Dinyana used to take out into, into war. Well, Rashi doesn't agree that it was the Oran with the Lucas, but it was an Oran. <laughs> he used to take it out of a clear Akwedish per Yoda. He used to take uh, all sorts of other things from the base of mixtures, including the of Tumium and Moksach. And he used to go out into the, into the battlefield. I mean, that you have to know how to take the highest in Yonim and the tiffest uh, hexter in Yonim in Kedusha and know how to get into the street and how to make a war. Vita, Menatzea, Zander. Uh, the uh, the Uyayim and the Amolik and the Kaltkite and not only just the Kaltkite but the Fadreitkite had got the, the, the confused public and the Fadmishta mentioned was the Drein Zharum the Fadin Eretz HaKoidish where people were Fadmishta a Fadreit a Fadtumo a Chas Fashovim you have to give in to a, a, an Arab a Goy a Makshamoy and give him a part of Eretz HaSov no as Ochinyonim was saying, kind of mock him to go into all the terrible Torim Hamitzayim, Mavhilim. So, what you've got to do is to take out all the Yonim over the Hexter Koifes that you have. Yeah, I used to say that you're a grace of Tom Kotham and a grace of London, and all the Yonim, you don't have time for these sort of things. to talk with people, say good word to another year, or to put two on it. So, we see that Betzal. Oh, he had time, and he had time to for the Molotov. He had time. What they got time. And there's another Indian, what I want to tell you now, a word, a sipur. So I heard this from a very great closet. Uh, uh, have we got any people here from London? Say, oh, we've got them from part of the magnet. Uh, oh, yeah, we got from London also. Yeah. But, uh, they, they lived in London, and he was a very famous... Chosid Soruf, the Gamli of the Friedrich Rebbe, and equally of the Rebbe, Mamish Belishum, Shinni, he was one of the first people who said that the Rebbe should be the Rebbe, but that was Rebbe Ben Shishemto all of us on. Have you ever heard of him? Rebbe Ben Shishem Shemto. So he was once on a visit in Bli Lahari for all of his milers and all of his unbelievable gulas and avetas Hashem and Oivet, Nifla, the whole thing. He was once in Bnei Brach. Uh, of Shabbos, and he used to dump till late on Shabbos, and after he used to dump till late. So he used to sit by the Kiddush and just say Lachayim, but he didn't eat a lot because he already started dumping a, a bit. And then he would, uh, after they finished all the Kiddush and his bring and then he would, he would start dumping. So he was apparently by some person of Shabbos, and they were me you know, they, they got up to go home and they saw that he hadn't even done it yet. I said, you know, <laughs> see you later, you know, you'll find your way and the whole thing. And so, you know, they went off and uh, there he was in the shul. So I he uh, caught him. I was also doubting a little bit of at that time in my life. 
is a matter I was sort of in the shul room together, and uh, I took the, uh, the I had to go to chutzpah to walk up to him and say, listen, uh, when you finish your, your dhamma, whatever that's going to be, would you like to come to my house? I see you, you, your, your balabais is sort of not around at the moment. Maybe come to my house for Suda's uh, shop. So he looked at me and he said, ah, come to deal. I said, yeah, he said, Sheikha Bosfah Shail. He said, that would be very nice. Yeah, I'll come to you because he was my Mashpil's brother-in-law. The Balakulana was Chaim Tevin, my Mashpil, and he was Gisim, had a good brother, the brother's law. So, it's, um, uh, he came, so I, I, I done up to a certain point, but he hadn't finished dumbing yet, so I said, I'll go home and get things ready, and then I'll come back and get you. And he said, okay. So when I came back, he was already finished to heal him, and he was a uh, little somebody was waiting for me to come. And I could tell him, I was already about four in the afternoon, and I said, it wasn't summer clock right now, it was a machine a long summer clocks and all the masses. It was pretty uh, late in the afternoon. So um, he comes into my house and sits down. First of all, he said he don't like eating if we've got these old mats, you know, they sort of, you know, you know these matzahs, they sell in boxes. But he said, this time of the day, if he eats the uh, chalas, it makes him sleepy. So he didn't want to eat uh, chalas, we found him a couple of these matzahs. That was his little Mishnah. And then he ate a bit of, um, uh, he ate a bit of fish. He said, fish is good. A little bit of uh, salad or something. And then he said that he's fine if he eats chalas. Now they will fall asleep. So we should just give you a little windy piece of chalant just to be ate on the plate. Have a little bit of chalant. He, he, he ate. And that was about it. So then uh, I said, would he like to, uh, you know, would he like to say something? So uh, he said yes. And he said, uh, he, uh, he, my notes had already gone to rest up a bit. So he said, but he feel that Diane Robinson's a lake here. She should also so I go and get my wife by the, you know, bring her back into the table. And he says, listen, I want to show everybody should hear. So he said, what was it? So I was like that. And he said that, um, uh, what's your Libavich? Uh, he said, what's your Libavich? What is it? So in uh, Pasha Akev in, in Devarim, I took over there um, about the... Uh, about the Oren. It's brought down about the Oren. Uh, and it's brought down over there in Rashi that uh, there were Emerson after Martin Taylor and after Moshe came down from Hal Sinai. There were really two Oren. Rashi learns that there were two. Rashi said there was the Oren and also the Tzalil. Uh, the Oren, uh, that was a big, and he, and he, he praised it, right? as a big golden uh, Oren and a big very beautiful orange with all the <laughs> ornamentations. But that was in the in the Kodesh Kedoshim inside the Mishka. Now she said there was a second orange, and that was the orange made out of wood that Moshe Rabbeinu took up the second time on the, on the mountain, and he brought down the Lucas inside that inside that orange. It was a posh uh, orange of eight. So uh, after that, they took the Lucas out of that, and they put it inside there. The orange show us a batala. So then Rashi said, what did they do with that orange? It, had, it just stood around empty. I mean, it was a special orange made out of wood that Moshe Rabbeinu made to bring down the Lucas in it. Yeah. So what happened to that orange? So Rashi said, oh, yeah. what was it with that orange? He said, the broken Lucas. The, the Lucas that Moshe Rabbeinu broke the first time, well, they were put inside that wooden orange. And they were kept in the, in the, how do you call it, in the sanctuary alongside the orange was in the towel. And Rashi says an amazing thing. Rashi says that whenever they went out to war, they used to take the the orange with the shivri lucas, the push the orange with the shivri lucas, and that one went to war. Or were not the orange was to be betal. And he said, Pamachas, this right Rashi, Pamachas, Lokus orange was a betalil Venishbo, and it was captured. You know the story how the, the Philistines captured the orange? Oh, yes. The Philistines, they caught the orange. And in the end, it caused them so much stories that they brought it back and gave it back to the... They said they can't hold it anymore. It caused them all this uh, terrible losses and trouble. So they brought it back and gave it back to the... Oh, but anyway, 
we see that it was captured. And it was captured by the police team. So Rashi says, that's a sign that it wasn't meant to be taken out to war. Uh, the only one who went out to war was the orange horse of Moisha, and it was a wooden one on inside with a shivering. That is shivering. The Rambanti was over there, and the Ramban said, no, there's only one orange, and the orange horse of Batala, they fitted everything in it. They fit both the, the whole Lucas, and at the bottom of the whole Lucas with a broken one. As they went to Ramban. And he makes a whole mathematical question. You could fit everything inside the arm that you wanted to hold. Miles in. Of a Russian one, so there were two arrangements. And so even the Ramban learns that whenever they went out to war, they took the arm shows of the top. I once it got captured. That's a historical fact. Of what Russia is hinting at is that it wasn't meant to be taken out to war. And once they did, it therefore it brought, it brought trouble. It says this, our British is like this. He said, what's the, uh, according to Rashi, he said, whenever you didn't have to go out and fight a war, but that's the last time before uh, Moshiach had his head called Ayechul Mohammed's base, David, that there's going to be you know, a need to make wars. So he said, who goes out to the war? He said, the Poshita Orin, the Hilton and Morin, that's in Yiddish means the, the wooden. The wooden iron, and he said, "What is in them?" <laughs> he said, "What's inside that?" He said, "The broken aluches, the broken aluches, this counts in the <laughs> And he said, "What's it with the with the shinum, the shinum gold and the iron?" He said, "Who is that? Those are in the kodesh shakadoshim. Those here, those are in the kodesh shakadoshim." He said, "Oh, but Tom and Menem, those are right." It's not able to. He said, the, the Plushkin cannot happen. The Plushkin can get, get hold of it. So he said, what is that? Help to him or him to Chabrach and Aluches? He said, this is Lubavitch. <laughs> he said, this is Lubavitch. He said, Lubavitch, this is a chain. And it's all dressed up in all sorts of golden colors. <laughs> the Snitev says, it's posh. You know, Lubavitch. Yeah, it's posh. He said it's a push it, uh, you know, wooden orange, and it's, uh, it's a, a broken heart, you know, it's a broken aluches. You know, you still, you haven't reached Slamus yet, you're a long way from it, a lot of things to be done yet. Over the general high scan in, the general gives an order to go out into the war. You have to go out, you have to go out, but you have to go out, push it, you know, simple wood, broken aluches, that's what wins the. That's when the war, and he said, because we put with the pastors what the general said. Whatever the general says, you just do it. And the fire, he said, however, the, the golden morning, ooh, the golden orange also <laughs> That's going to be inside the crater. That's crazy, Shakadoshi. It has to be inside the crater, Shakadoshi. Oh, we does go out to That's inside. The low it. I thought it was a very beautiful, uh, very beautiful thing. And I mean, it's a little bit uh, Andrews of what we learned. Here. We learned it, and Bichal also knew that secret. He knew that you had to go out. Yeah, so, you know, Zev, Zev, Mishkaim, and Beor. That can also be Mishkaim, Beor, Daino. Of Lofisa, we see that according to that chapter that the Rebbe gives in, uh, based on our extra Kaviyoko rider we bought from Teres Hashem with the whole Indian. And we see that uh, 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 there's an Indian to go out and to be Isaac in Malacha until the that Malacha is Nikrasal. Yeah, Al Shmoy that becomes the Etzim with him. And that'll be Moisif and all the Inyon and Kedusha that a person has or that he will need with the other, with the other Zachen. And that's what we're benching, man, that you should be worried that the Rebbein tell you to go out and uh, you know, do simple things, you know, push it uh, in Yoni, which does not. But if I'll tell you another story, that this I heard from Ayid, he, he was the um, he was the brother, oh, I'm sorry, he was the nephew of this person to whom it happened. And later, I heard the same story, oh no, I'm sorry, the other way around. I first of all heard it from the person that it happened to. And then later on, I heard it from his nephew. How do you? There was a rope here in uh, in Krachabad when I first came uh, 
in the year Toshin Kopeis to Eretz Yisrael, there was uh, the the rov of the class of Bible school, Reb Shneur Garalik, Garalik, all of a and then there was like a deputy rov. You know, like today you've got Rav uh, Tvadovit, that he helps out. You know, he also paskins and he also does. It. The rov's not here. He takes uh, the achrayas. If the, the rov's not able to deal with certain things because uh, he's busy or he's away or whatever, he'll do it. Uh, so there was such a rov then also. He was like the deputy rov, but he was an elderly chassid. He was a gur, an elder chassid. Very uh, old and learned and uh, very, very serious he is. His name was Glasma. Is that the guy? It's not Glasma. Glasma. So, he was also a kar of Mishpacha from my Mashpir, from Zalman. So, when I got to El Tzor, Zalman said to me, I want you to go into Glasma and give him a greeting, because he's a. He's like a grand uncle or something, or an uncle or something close to us, to Unzer Mishpacha. So he said, I want you to go in and say hello and give him a personal greeting from me. So I was Mekan, I went into the house of this Rav Plasma. And I had a whole talk with him. So I got a whole amazing schmooze with him. He was the most amazing person. But he died shortly after. He had, um, in the front, he had tuberculosis, you know, he had a lung disease. In Russia, they got it with all the Tzadahs and everything. He got this land of it. They could never really heal him properly. He always had traces of it. And then uh, he died uh, over here at Kachabad. And not all that long after, I actually uh, saw him. Uh, never saw one in the time. So I get in to see him. He tells me this story that when he was a Boche in, uh, in uh, Lubavitch, that uh, he did smear her like some of you guys. After he'd been learning uh, that uh, in the Zal for a long time, the Rebbe Rashab said that certain people should make Shemitah, and he was amongst them. And uh, after he finished Shemitah and everything, he wanted to sit and learn uh, further. So all of a sudden the Rebbe Rashab calls him in, and the Rebbe Rashab says that you, you have to learn Evan Hoiza. You've got to learn all the Dinim of Kedushan and uh, all those in Yonim. Uh, we've got some members here that have also been Asia Kinah. And he said that um, you have to learn uh, Evan Oeza. You have to take out Dionis. I said, jump, 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 jump. But, you know, I just finished your day and I was thinking of learning for myself. You know, and I said, no. He said, you have to do it. There's reasons. It's a lot of learning, but you have to do it. There's reasons. You have to take out Dionis. When you've done that, you have to let me know. The, the Rabbi Rashab said he wants to know about it. The Rabbi, uh, the Rabbi gives you that. Uh, oh, you don't mess around. So he started learning uh, Dionys. So, in the end, he completes Dionys and he gets from these uh, big robot and he gets, uh, you know, an official uh, Dionys. So, uh, all of a sudden, um, uh, he said that uh, one day the Friedrich Rabbi called him in. The Friedrich Rabbi wasn't Rabbi yet, he was, uh, he was the man of of Tonka Tamir. And uh, he says to him, listen, he said, we have here uh, a difficult question about uh, an aguna. An aguna means a lady that her uh, husband's not there. They don't know what happened to him. And she can't marry because she, she got nowhere to get a get from. But we can't prove that he's dead. That's called an aguna. So there's a whole series of ways of finding a that uh, to help an aguna. she would got to get uh, a remarried. Sometimes it means that the husband left her and nobody knows where he is, or it can mean that he got into a war or, God forbid, into an accident, someone knows what happened to him or face with him. The poor time they give on the bonus is very uh, up on him. Is, uh, so he said, hey, you know, who am I to pass it? I'll tell you, it's a very you know, uh, responsible uh, matter. So the Freddy Garvey looked at him and said, what do you ask me questions? You know, Friedrich Rebbe said, um, you know, if I tell you that you've got to pass me, you have to say, you have to pass me. So, so he said, here's the details. He said, you can go away for a day or so and look up a little Makaira, look up the Inonim, you know, find out. But I want you to give us the, the psak, your opinion about this uh, map. What you can do. So he goes and he looks up all the Makaira and he hollows and he works and he struggles and the whole thing. And in the end, about a day or so later, he comes, he has to be led into the Fritik Rebbe, and he shows the Fritik Rebbe, like a, he wrote down the main headings of his opinion, and he wrote down uh, what he thinks, and he said to him, and he gave it to the, 
to the Freya de Kirim. So the Freya de Kirim put on his glasses, you know, like this. And he said, just watch out. That guy can't get the Freya de Kirim put on his glasses. And, you know, his eyes were very tremendously powerful. <laughs> he puts on his glasses. And he picks up the thing and he starts reading it. And he's sitting there the whole time near the Freya de Kirim. He's been through this whole thing. You know? <laughs> he's sitting there the whole time. He's standing there. Yeah. So he didn't know what's going to be. So in the end, uh, Friedrich reaches the end of it, and he sort of um, thinks for a minute, and he says, uh, I ask you to go ahead. Thank you. Well, he put down on the table. So he doesn't know what to do now. He just walk out. So there was um, a packet of cigarettes was laying on the table. So Friedrich Gary picked up the cigarette, uh, cigarette opened it, pulled out a cigarette, and he went like that to him. So he offered him, uh, he offered him a cigarette. He didn't know what it was. You know. uh, he said, "What's he supposed to do?" You know. Friedrich Gerber is offering him, a, oh, you know, offering him a cigarette. So he paused. He didn't know what to do. So he took a terrible hoots for the take. You know. So all of a sudden, Friedrich Gerber said, "No." <laughs> and he said, uh, he pushed it towards him. He said, "No." <laughs> So he understood that that lady said that so he, he took the cigarette and of course he, he just put it in his pocket. So, so the Friedrich Gerber smiled and he says, that, that, uh, thank you for your effort, uh, what a good talk. <laughs> so uh, then he saw one of the reasons why he was supposed to learn uh, everything. So in the end, he gets a call from the Rebbe Rashab, he comes into the Rebbe Rashab and the Rebbe Rashab says to him, oh, now that you have Dionys, he said, I have for you a, a job. I have a, you know, a post. So he said that in this and this town, you know, so many kilometers away from Robavich, all of a sudden this become a Rabonis has become free. But the Rav was resigned or something, and now they need a Rav. And the free to go, uh, Rav Rashi said, and I want that Wunter, a young man, he should have the Rabonis. I said, I want that a young man that's not the Tonchetimim, he should have the he should be the Rav. So he's, he's a young man who's been learning all his life and all of a sudden he told you to go to this town and become a, yeah, become a, a Rav. So he sort of looks at the Friedrich, he looks at the Rav and he says, uh, Rav, he said, I have my Rav. He said, I'm, uh, I'm afraid. So first of all, the Rav was very strict and his face changed very stern. I said, what? You know, you're handing me back to the, you know, the, you know say, I'm telling you what to do and you're handing me back. And all of a sudden the river Hashem smiled. And he said, when the river Hashem smiled after his it was like the sun broke out of the earth, you know. <laughs> he said, the river Hashem smiled at him and he said in Yiddish, is women so it then chicken, I know was a hot nish kaimoira. He said, who should I then send? Somebody that he's not afraid. Get to find Futile. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's just unbelievable. So he said, so I, I should send somebody. He's not afraid. I had to read this. Prophet just told me the details. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. That's how he became a rope. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know exactly what that has to do with it, but it's got to do with it. <laughs> it's got to do with it. But here he was, he was a young man, a Talmud Chacham, and he'd learned, he'd learned Paisek, and he'd learned, uh, the, he took out a Dayonas. He could have probably gone on and took out another Dayonas in the Mishpat. You know, he could have done all sorts of good things. You know, and like, yeah, we have here somebody who knows a bit of the time with us in you know, He you want, all of a sudden he's talking. Oh, no, you can go out into a town and you've got to become a robe. And a robe means uh, very good, Bilbo, Tildes, Agouf, and everything. All for the sake that Yidden should know what they got to do and Yidden should be good. And it should be Toi Vanil Vanikla for Ali Yidden. I'll tell you, we start to sign. Remember that scene from Mithoyim, Ki Elionim, does it become a Mithoyim your whole life? They can't say that, but a Mithoyim. But a bit of and he didn't really want to go, and nonetheless, that's like the cigarette from the Friedrich Rebbe. 
נו. יש המלך, השם, אז תהולפת. We have to know that this is the message from them Rashi. That's the message from them Rashi. That Nikas al Shmoy Vavu is Nosen Nafshoi Mishare HaChachomim. In other words, the Dinah from Lubavitch is the Tzabroch and Aluches. And Lubavitch knows that you've got to be Nosen Nafshoi, you've got to be more than a Sirus Nefesh. You've got to be ready to just give your whole self to the Indian. You know how they could? The whole caboodle. And you've got to go in and give everything away for the sake of the Indian, including all your comforts and all the Indian, all the Zakim and all the Indian, and those are the Babi. There's a lot of other people, and they're Chachom, Shara Chachom, great people, they're Chachom, and all the, but you've got to be a little bit more than Shara Chachom. You've got to be a Ish Maisa, a Ish Mesel's Nefesh, after the Orin Bepuyo Malocha, you've got to be prepared to do Malocha. He's like, me, I'm a Baal Malocha, I'm a, I'm a Ish Miucha, I'm an Ish Ruchni, I'm a Talstik, oh ho, he was a, you're a Dafki, the one that's got to, you're a Dafki, the one that's got to do it. And my mother, you've got to be a Dugma, you've got to be a Dugma Chaya, you've got to be a living example to those around you. And those are the guys. And you can't say, oh, yours. I had also a little Mishagash laugh when I was, uh, before I became the Bible agent, uh, yeah, I want to have a bit of them as well, you know, have a little bit of my Mishagash and a little bit of my Duas and a little bit of my Nimitz and then you mean, uh, and I hope we can also still be all about it. No. Love Tafki. Not only love Tafki, it's a dish game of life. But you've got to realize that the Bible is, like he says, nice and nafshay. And there's all sorts of Shari Chachom, all sorts of people who don't try, but they know when to work, man. Are oh, you going to be special? You've got to be prepared to give away. I heard from an elder, a chassid, you got somebody said to me, I just got to be a fabrican, so I'm not to blame. Somebody said to me, you said that. Somebody said tonight that the shield's got to be a fabrican. Eh? <laughs> so you got to put up with it. <laughs> what was I talking about? I already forgot. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, what did he tell me? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, and he said, like this, and he said, why is it that uh, the altar ever, that someone said he quotes, that the altar ever said, I don't want your Gan I don't want your Elam Habo, I only want you yourself. You just said, I want you yourself. Why do you have to say what he doesn't want? I don't want, uh, you know, your... I can't eat and I don't show it on my bow. I want you yourself. Why do you have to cancel out with negatives? He says, I don't want this, no, I don't want that. I want all you. He said, because you've got to be prepared to say what you're prepared to put into the business. You know what I mean? So, there's an expression in Yiddish, I ain't leaving in your shaft. That you've got to show what you're prepared to put into what you're prepared to overlook. What are you prepared to Pay, what sort of price are you prepared to pay? No, the altar ever said, I'm prepared to pay as our price. I, have, I, I don't care nothing about Canadian, I feel in the state of my boot. Boy, I'm prepared to give all that away, and then I'll go for Atma Saint. So. I'll be good, and that's what the altar ever looked up in. So this person said to him, I said, that's what stayed in Tani in the last period of Safer Shobain. Right at the end of Perik Nun Gimo, the altar ever said that a tzaddik is somebody that he was say that it's called in on him, that bees the etzma, quaifus, and benefits, and I call, yes, a little of Hashem, but he shall have a good of a good. He said, oh, by the pain on me, he said, I'll come upon him, who tzaddik listen, listen, of the halosin, or he chale, yeah, lafach is a luhushim, eight to the pain on him. Something's got to burn. That was an old expression, but it's in him. It's music of his opera. Something has to burn off. You know, you can't just... you got to burn something off. You can't just be whatever you want. You can't say, well, I want Atma Saint Saint. What are you prepared to burn in order to get Atma Saint? I mean, I told you the message. The message is we're going to be prepared to give something away in order to, you know, to get to what really is the ultimate... That is the rotten of the river and the rotten of the river of It's all one rotten. It's all one in it. I mean, it doesn't moisture up in 
Moshe Rabbeinu is even a higher rank. He, he's the one <laughs> that runs the whole, even B'Tzalim is a Talmud as it were, almost of Moshe Rabbeinu. Allah upon him, being as he is, a devoted chassid of Moshe Rabbeinu, through him we learn all of the Inyarim. The Tarkiv and the Chassidim, they're the ones that you learn from. And if, uh, we got to know that the Rebbe says we've got to bring Moshiach and that that is the tough kid of our generation that's the tough kid of this moment here in history bringing Moshiach Papoyal Mamish and we've got to know that it could be you know like that the young man said to the Rebbe I said I I don't understand I hope he's not why should I go with that and the Rebbe Rashaab said who am I supposed to send you know somebody realizes the the you know <laughs> So just imagine the people of the river is looking at each and every one of us. And he says, listen guys, we've got to bring Moshe Baboyo. We've got to be prepared to say and to get out there and to and be mashpia on the whole oil and keep shooting. And they'll sign the Gul of Shlema, Mamish Papashas. They'll sign the Gul of Shlema on Chokmah. They're on a Mises, on a Geshev, Gul of Shlema, Mamish Papashas, Mamish. You're going to come on to the river and say, ooh, river, you know, I, I live in a suburban area, you know, I live in a nice town. I'm saying, you know, who knows what these guys are going to say, you know, it's a twist and a twist. And who knows what I'm going to say, you know, I, I, So that's what the Rebbe said one of the secrets. Are you not finished with your own, with your own building in that matter? But you've got to go out and talk. You just go out and talk. I will be king. You've got to be prepared to talk. And after a while, you, you become yourself convinced that the, the world doesn't have to suffer because you are still hesitating. That's what the Lord said. Now remember guys, that's the message now, Nisa. Roshchid is Nisa. That's Shabbos Pasha Hachid. Nisa, it's more than a place given that the, the, the Pasha, Pasha Hachid is, we read the Shabbos, is the mile of Chodesh Nisa. Nisan. you look into it, you'll see it's all the different milers of what is Chodesh Nisa. What happened in Chodesh Nisan? What's it all about? Geula. Chodesh HaGeula. And the Shlach Chodesh says that every day in Chodesh Nisan is like a Rosh Chodesh. Every day in Chodesh Nisan has got a special mile as a Rosh Chodesh. Without all the riots, that's the most common. That's, how I, that's what he said. But if I, we've got to get cracking. The Nisan Asidin Lehigoyal. So let's just say that the Asidim part of it in the future, you know, that was oh, right now at this moment, it's it's not right so much that we should say Asidim Lahigo, because then it makes it sound in the future. We've got to say Benison Lahigoya. We've got to say that this this particular Nissan, it's not going to be Asidim anymore, but it's going to be Bapayo yeah, Mamish, it's not. Eh? Well, I'm saying, say yours. He's a shem. <laughs> He's too embarrassed. All right, just the very fact that he, he blushed a bit and he nodded, that's also good. Out of fact, that's the message. That's the Shia Klali from Yom Chamishi Belayla, out of Shabbos Kodesh, Shabbat Yakil. It means by Yakil Moshe. Moshe gets everybody together. Yakil Moshe. Moshe gets everybody together. If you talk to the people about Moshe, they all come. Oh man, can you hear? God saying, and Pearl uh, Mamish like Talo, Yula, Pearl Mamish.